Hey, hey, how we doing? Um, my name is Stephen Fennell, of course, the home loan expert. Go with Steve.com. Also a avid crypto enthusiast. And I thought I would take a few minutes to record and talk a little bit about one of my crypto projects that I love working on. It's called Chicken. And um, it is part of the metaverse, part of NFTs, it's part of DeFi. It's a crypto and um, a great way to deal with the falling markets of crypto and um, where the markets have been headed because there's an opportunity to earn some passive income in the chicken ecosystem. Um, lots of changes, lots of updates um, by the developers on a constant basis, really developing out this NFT upgradable ecosystem called Chicken. So um, I'm going to make a couple of moves in Chicken, and uh, I thought it'd be good to just, you know, kind of record it and share it. So first of all, uh, you've got these chickens, you got roosters, um, and these are NFTs, right? So you could go over here and you could buy a chicken, right? And the base price for a chicken, which is an NFT, is 28 and a half AVAX. And you say, well, what is AVAX? And what is the cost of AVAX? So AVAX Avalanche is, um, I'll pull up the price. Okay, here we go. Avalanche is currently trading at 5208. Um, so if you wanted to buy a chicken right now, it's going to cost you 5208. And I'll just do some quick math for you. 5208 times 28.5 AVAX. It's about $1,484. This is what it would cost you right now. And you obviously would say, well, why in the heck would I pay $1,484? Well, the reason why you would pay that is these chickens lay eggs, right? So going back to um, the beginning uh, screen that I was on, these chickens lay eggs. So you see this here, the tri-token system. So the chicken is an NFT that lays eggs. <clears throat> the eggs is a utility token, and that egg can be staked or saved. And once it's staked or saved, it will give you feed, which is food that the chicken needs to get bigger, to keep laying more eggs, and so on and so forth. So I'll take you through here, and let's look at an example. Um, in this example here, you've got, um, I've got a couple of chicken, right? Um, I've got one chicken that weighs 29 kilograms, lays an estimated eight eggs per day. And that chicken, I've got to feed that chicken. I've got to feed them with feed, chicken feed. Well, this chicken is laying eggs. So these eggs, I take those eggs and I stake those eggs, right? Stake eggs. I stake those eggs and those eggs give me so much feed per day, like 4,401 feed per day. And that feed, then I claim that feed and then I feed the chicken with it. And the chicken now gets bigger, right? So once the chicken gets bigger, the chicken lays more eggs. Those eggs are then staked. Those eggs are then developing and generating more feed as my reward for not just taking those eggs and selling them, which I can do. Like I can easily go and take those eggs and just sell those eggs. So the cost of an egg right now is about 78 cents. You can see it's been, it's been higher than that. It's been like close to two bucks, um, two dollars and two cents in March of 22. Um, so, so you could easily, if you wanted to, uh, this is a big wick of $11, but I doubt very much it hit that high six bucks six seven dollars for an egg back then um back in january 22 so eggs are down the market's down not a shock but you can take these eggs and you can sell those eggs right now those eggs of course uh, are coming from the chicken the chicken lays the eggs the eggs then could be staked or saved instead of cashed out like you can cash it out here if i wanted to i could cash out my eggs all right trade it for a u.s digital dollar USDC, US digital dollar, 121 bucks, and I can keep going. 
But when I stake that egg, keep that egg, it gives me feed. And the feed, the price of feed is 0 0.0017, right? 0 0.0017. But that feed is what I need to keep getting my chicken bigger in order for the chicken to lay more eggs so that I can continue to generate more feed and make the chicken bigger. The bigger the chicken, the more eggs, and so on and so forth. So there's a usage for eggs. Um, and I'll show you and talk a little bit about that here in a second. But this is really kind of a self-generating cycling process, um, a tri-token system is what they call it, right? Um, so that's the chicken, right? Um, then they came out with uh, farmland. So farmland, again, is another NFT, and I can um, burn eggs, burn some of those eggs that my chicken is laying to grow the size of my farm. So you see this farm here, right? Let me get you a bigger picture. You can see this a little bit bigger. Um, give me a sec here. I was trying to make this bigger for you. But I've got three total farmlands. These are, again, this is the metaverse. We're getting into the metaverse. This is an NFT in the metaverse. And you see, I can burn eggs, burn some of those free eggs my chicken is generating. And I can grow my farmland. So these are six eggs that have been burnt. This one is 44. You can see how big that is, right? Um, how big it is once you um, burn eggs. But the way you expand your farmland is you have to burn more eggs. So I can take those free eggs, burn the farmland. It'll grow the farm. It'll burn the eggs. It'll grow my farmland and make it bigger. Um, so the farmland, there's, uh, this is the, we're getting into the metaverse now, but the farmland is going to have some other development as well. But right now I can lay eggs. Um, I can, um, use those eggs to build my farmland to make it bigger. Um, the bigger the farmland, the more feed also that I'll be able to generate off of the farm, right? The farm also will give me some feed. Um, and, uh, and I'll talk a little bit about how I can continue to make that feed more um, beneficial as far as fertilizing it. So here's the farmland, and then we've got roosters. So we've got chickens, we got farmland, and now we've got roosters. So roosters are the newest NFT that has dropped in this ecosystem. Started with chicken, went to farmland, now they have roosters. We want to get the roosters and chickens as big as possible um, because you know, the, the chicken lays more eggs. The rooster now lays fertilizer, fertilizer, all right, because we need to fertilize our farmland, right? So the, so the rooster lays fertilizer to fertilize the farmland. Very fertile farmland yields off greater fruit. In this case, the fruit is the feed, right? Going back to my chicken farm, uh, my chicken, <clears throat> the feed, the chicken needs feed, in order to grow bigger and lay more eggs. Those eggs can then be fed to the rooster and the rooster provides fertilizer to keep fertilizing the farmland. And the more I fertilize that farmland, the more I'm able to get a greater return for staking or saving or parking my AVAX and my eggs in my farmland. So on DeFi in yield farming, we have a place where we have a choice rather as to where we keep our crypto. And if we decide to keep our crypto in this case, inside the chicken meta chicken uh, economy, triconomy, um, we would then stake it, if you will, creating um, an opportunity to get more returns on our crypto, right? A greater return. So anything I stake in here, and there's some tokens that I have to combine and I'll show you here in a second, but anything I stake in this farmland, I get multiplied 4.25, right? And the more fertilizer, right? Again, I told you my rooster lays fertilizer. So the more fertilizer that I take and sprinkle on my farmland, this multiplier will go up 4.25%, okay? Um, so if I go back to the chicken, I stake my eggs, right? So my eggs are staked. And the multiplier I get is two point or just two X, right? So 2,200 egg stake, I get 4,400 daily feed. Well, over here on farmland, I can stake eggs and I'm gonna have to stake a little bit of AVAX. 
Okay, so you see over here, this is telling me what I need to stake, egg and AVAX, right? So when I stake egg and AVAX, like I have here, um, it will give me an estimated 4.25, right? 4.25, so the number of eggs that I have, 4.25 is what I get as far as my feed in return for staking and placing and keeping my eggs and my AVAX crypto on my farmland. So you can put it and leave it in the wallet or you can stake it somewhere. And that's the benefit of crypto and DeFi is if depending on where you stake it or save your crypto, you get paid interest. And that's really what this is. This is interest. And what's coming off of this is free fertilizer right, or free feed. Um, and that feed can then be used to feed the chicken who's hatching eggs. And then those eggs could be staked to get me more free feed, et cetera, et cetera. And it just kind of just works in a circular motion. And all of this matters because at any point in time, I can decide to cash out my feed. Um, I can decide to cash out my eggs, you know, say I need to pay uh, uh, whatever, a car note. <laughs> and I can cash my eggs out. I can take my free eggs, all my eggs, my, my chicken is laying and I can cash them out, take the money and keep going. Right. Or I can continue to invest it and keep growing my uh, chicken and making my chicken bigger. Um, and I can keep making my rooster bigger because there's more coming down the line. Like this is just the beginning. Um, there probably will be some rooster fights. There probably will be some other things. Like when this started, it was just about chicken and getting the chicken as big as you can possibly get the chicken. Right. And then once you got the chicken as big as you got the chicken, then you got to continue to get more feed and you just continue to feed the chicken more feed to make it bigger and so on and so forth. So um, the price of egg, the price of feed, the price of AVAX, the price of crypto in general is down right now. So I see this as a good opportunity to continue to start investing and building more in this chicken ecosystem because the prices will come back at some point in time and when they come back you know the value of what i have staked to value these eggs will skyrocket accordingly as well right so i see this as a good investment um to continue to start buying avax this is not financial advice by the way not a financial advisor not a crypto advisor I'm just sharing with you what I'm doing in a downward sloping crypto market um, to earn some real passive and interest base off of my crypto. So chicken, rooster, farmland. Farmland is nothing more than a place for me to stake my crypto, uh, create some LP tokens, which are basically combining certain tokens like egg and AVAX. So really, I'm I'm bullish on egg because I know I will always be able to use egg. The chicken family will continue to create ways from a development standpoint to use egg. Uh, AVAX is the native token of the Avalanche network. So AVAX is going to be a very important token uh, to have. So I don't mind buying it and just holding on to it for as long as I possibly can uh, until it skyrockets because AVAX is going to be a very important blockchain. Um, it's got Flare Networks, uh, which is built on the Avalanche technology. Uh, it runs the Ethereum virtual machine. Um, there's already cross-chain, multi-chain capabilities built into it. So uh, I'm very excited about Avalanche and definitely investing in the Avalanche ecosystem. And this is the main one within Chicken. So, um, But anyway, I can take Egg and Av AVAX, combine it, create a JLP token, stake those JLP tokens, and then I will then earn so much feed daily so to give you an idea of what that looks like um you know i'll show you here in a second but go over to trader joe there's also some farming again farming is there's there's uh pears avax and lost avax and egg there's pears that i could farm i could invest money into that and earn interest back right um so a couple of these since the fertilizer and the feed just kicked off, you can see some of these, like the AVAX fertilizer is paying 577% APR or interest, right? AVAX feed is paying 606% APR, annual percentage rate interest. Um, here's AVAX egg, which is paying 190% interest. So I can invest, I can buy these two tokens, combine them and invest in these farms and earn these 
levels of interest for as long as they last. So right now I'm into four of them, lost, egg, fertilizer, and feed with a cost avalanche. And you can see it's going to pay me a bonus APR of 524%, gel 82%, and then 19% of the pool, right? Here's the pool. Shows how much I've got staked and what my share of that is. And I can come in here and I can claim these every day if I wanted to, right? So, so far I've earned five cents. I just did this earlier today. I've earned five cents in feed rewards and coming up on a penny in Joe rewards for saving my feed and AVAX there, right? So if I wanted to create one, I could go over here, click on get tokens. It shows you how much feed I've got. So I can max out on my feed, all right, against my AVAX. And I can hit supply, supply. So what I'm doing now is I'm creating a token, a combination token, if you will, um, with feed and with AVAX. Now, I'm not going to go forward and do this yet because I only have like 64 feet in there. So that, that would really wouldn't be too much worth it right now. I need to get more feed, but I'm not going to worry about getting more feed because my chickens lay eggs. I stake those eggs. Those eggs will give me free feed, right? But if I wanted to buy some feed or wait until that chicken lays those eggs and those eggs give me more feed every day, then I can take that feed and come over here, stake it, uh, combine it, first of all, with AVAX and create an LP token. Once I create that LP token, then I can supply it into this liquidity pool here, which is totals of $243,000 so far. And I can start earning this interest, this crazy interest that it's paying. And part of it's paying in feed. So, you know, 600, 500% interest is pretty good, right? Pretty good. But um, so that's just uh, just something I wanted to share to show you another way I can generate free feed off of the farming um, uh, on the Trader Joe network. So anyway, um, not going to take too much more time. Wanted to just kind of talk a little bit about chicken. Uh, I'm excited about chicken. You know, the chickens will continue to get bigger. They'll continue to uh, box, box some eggs and those eggs will come out. I'll stake those eggs get some free feed. Um, I'll take that feed to feed the chicken, make them bigger. I need more eggs. Why do I need more eggs? Because I now have roosters and the roosters need eggs in order to get bigger. So this one started at one. It's now at 10. It's giving me 24 fertilizer a day, roughly. Fertilizer is about 15 cents, about 12 cents. Let's go look and see. Let's go check and see. I think fertilizer is about 12 cents. It started out at 15. Let's see what its value is on the market. Fertilizer. So we'll go fert. Have any fur, but anyway. 14 cents. Fertilizer started out around 15. It's, it's worth 14 cents. So even if I wanted to just feed my rooster and have them just continue to lay and give me some fertilizer, right? It's 14 cents. I get 24 of those a day, right? So 14 cents times 24. So it's three bucks a day, three bucks a day. Um, if I took that over the course of 356, that's about $1,200 a year of just free fertilizer. Um, but I'll probably take that fertilizer and use it and sprinkle it on my farmland so it can continue to give me a great multiplier, which will give me more feed. And I can take that feed to continue to feed my chicken, who's going to lay eggs and feed my rooster, who needs those eggs to get bigger because there's going to be rooster fights, I heard. I don't know for sure, but I heard there might be rooster fights. So this is the rooster. You saw the farmland. All right. And I can continue, if I wanted to burn some of those eggs, I could make this farmland bigger. Remember, it started at one, something like this. And now my biggest one I have is uh, 44 bigness, all right? The bigness determines the maximum amount of feed that can come off that farm. So right now, before I'd have to claim it, I could I could let this go up to 44,000, right? Feed total 44,000 before I'd have to claim it. Um, I could claim it every day if I wanted to. 
but the bigness matters. There's also some uniqueness, some unique things that, that come into play. Farmland, if I wanted to go buy a farmland today, I could buy a cheap one for around 4.75 for farmland. Um, this farmland right here, this is a nice farm. This is a 36 bigness, so check this out. But it's got some really unique things, look. This is a really unique um, farmland, right? It's 36 bigness, but they're charging. So this is bigger than mine, but it has some really unique things, right? But it char they're looking for 169 AVAX. So 169 AVAX, and we know the price of AVAX is about 5208 $8,801 is what this person is charging for their farm. That's what they want to sell that farmland. It's got some very unique characteristics, um, which is probably why they're looking to sell it for so much. But my farmland is even bigger. I have a 44 bigness, but I don't have a lot of those unique characteristics. So I have some, but not, not all the ones that they have. So they're looking to cash in big time off of their 36 bigness. But you can come here, click the 4.75 and see what you can buy. 4.675 right basically um you got some basic farms 490 to 495 avax so for about 200 bucks you can get a farmland basically like this is not a bad one about 200 bucks you can get a farm and you can start staking some of your egg and avax um, by staking your egg and avax in your farm it's going to give you some free feed you can take that feed and you can convert that feed into um, you can, you know, even if you didn't have a chicken, you could take the free feed and you could save it up and stack it up and eventually buy yourself some eggs and buy yourself a chicken and so on and so forth and build up or you can buy yourself a rooster. Got to have eggs eventually, though. So you can take your free feed that you get and you can take that up and get you some a chicken eventually to start laying some eggs. But that's farmland rooster if you wanted to buy a rooster today some pretty cool unique roosters um 6.3 avax that's about 300 dollars for one rooster the cheapest you can see some of these real unique ones they're asking a lot but roosters lay fertilizer fertilizer fertilizes the farmland more fertile farmland puts out more feed and more feed is used to grow your chicken bigger and your chicken lays eggs so um all right guys i think that is all i have i'm going to do a little work i'm going to do some work over here with respect to farming see if i can get a little bit of this fertilizer um, because the fertilizer farm is paying 572 percent so what i'll probably do is i'll probably take some of my avax and buy some fert Now, what I want to do is I want to maximize my farmland, right? I want to maximize, I'm getting 4.25 for every egg. And I want to take that, I can make that go up to four and a half or five or whatever. And it's going to take some more fertilizer. So I probably will have to go to either wait for my rooster to drop more fertilizer, or I can go buy some fertilizer if I wanted to. So the next level here is 6.64.54 fertilizer. I'm at 4.25 it can get me to four and a half. So if I wanted to get this to four and a half, I can go buy, see, I need 64, I've got this. I can go buy about 60 fertilizers, 60 fertilizers, round it off. And then I can take those fertilizers and drop them in there um, I'm probably going to buy a little more than that because I do want to maximize the opportunity in this interest that's being paid, this juicy fertilizer interest of 572, 572% interest for staking my AVAX and my fertilizer. So I'll probably take, um, and buy some fertilizer and put it into this pool to earn some more feed. Um, but I won't 
take it from my AVAX. I'll wait uh, until it's generated through feed or through eggs. And I'll trade them and then I'll buy some fertilizer that way. I don't want to take away from my AVAX. I'm bullish on AVAX. I like AVAX. I really don't want to do too much other than stake it uh, in one of these farms or stake it on my farmland uh, where I can earn feed off of it and um, keep growing my chickens. So, all right, guys, drop me a comment. Uh, let me know what questions you've got. Uh, any questions, happy to help. This is the chicken ecosystem on the Avalanche Network. Bok, bok. <laughs>